everybody welcome back to my channel I know it has been a while I took a little Instagram and uh, YouTube break for about a week or so but I am back with another flip through I know that you all love to see me go through um, some finished projects so here we are welcome welcome to all of my new subscribers you guys i am up over 50 subscribers i know in youtube land that's not a huge deal but it's a huge deal to me each and every one of you is a huge deal i remember when i first started i had maybe one or two videos up on youtube and this wasn't that long ago i only had four subscribers and i was just like is this really what I should be doing. Now there are over 50 of you. I know that there are at least some people who want to see what I do. So thank you for joining me. Um, before we get started, my name is Charnay. I'm the Papyrophile. Thank you so much to coming uh, for coming to my ch uh, channel to see what's going on around here. If you are not already a subscriber, go ahead and take a look at some of my other videos. See if this is a place you think you might enjoy and just come and join us. All right, let's get started. So this is a journal that I teased on my Instagram. Um, I just put up a little picture and, you know, with sort of a provocative caption, you know, what's she up to now? What I was up to is a denim and lace journal. This is for a swap that I'm participating in. So I will be receiving a denim and lace journal as well. Um, but before I put this in the box and wrap it with care, I wanted to show you all just uh, something a little bit different than what I would normally do. I stepped outside of my comfort zone on this one. All right, so let's get started. So we just got a cotton um, strip of fabric that has been pinked around the edges and tied up. It does have a little bit of a pattern, like a white on white pattern to it. The journal does not require the um, piece of cotton to stay closed. As you all know, I am a fan of chunky journals, but I do not like it when my journals sort of fight to stay closed. Um, I don't want that um, kind of gaping look. And so she's a fluffy one. She's thick. Um, she does sit closed by herself. <laughs> all right, so we've got old pair of jeans here. These are my jeans or were my jeans <laughs> that I cut up and sacrifice for this project. <laughs> We've also got some lace applique. Now these um, laces are from all different sources and all different time periods as well. Um, this applique, this one here, and these small ones here are all um, fairly new. This larger applique, um, I've learned that, I believe this is called Battenberg lace. I'm, I'm learning my textiles, you guys. Um, this is from a larger piece. It's actually this tablecloth that I'm filming on. And I have touched on this in one of my earlier videos. Got this from the thrift store. I am not a thrifter, so this was a huge find for me. Um, and an unusual find. <laughs> um, I've got some lace trim here. And of course, just lace throughout the entire album. So, let's start with the cover. I use the fly on the jeans as a pocket and so this zipper does work and I just placed a journaling card right inside just to basically demonstrate to my um, my swap partner that um, it does you know it is a functioning pocket and like I said you can zip it so it can be a secret secret stash <laughs> if you want it to be in the other pocket, I put my favorite pen. I have a, a pack of these that I purchased on Amazon. The brand name is Tool, T-U-L. There we go, T-U-L. And they just write, it's just a ballpoint pen, you guys. I mean, it's not rocket science, but it, they, they're beautiful, first of all. So they've got this the white barrel with the metallic detailing. I have some, um, that have silver, I have some that have rose gold, this is the yellow gold. And um, yeah, they just write smooth, it's a lightweight pen. I don't like those big bulky pens or the heavy pens that are the so-called good pens. That's not a good pen for me. <laughs> I like a lightweight pen. Um, so yeah, click on, click off, and that just sits right down in that front pocket. The back cover, 
I have some more functioning pockets. We've got this small pocket here and this larger pocket as well. I just put a little handmade tag in there. Again, just to demonstrate that it is a functioning pocket so she can use it however she pleases. All right, let's open her up. All right, first look, first page. I've taken some more of this um, tablecloth that I'm on and I just cut from it a pocket and this edging as well as this portion here are also just some beautiful stitching and embroidery. I use some Tim Holtz um, wallpaper remnant. Um, that's where this flower came from. And this is also a pocket, functioning pocket. And there's just a little journaling card in there that I made from some masterboard that I created. So there are actually two pockets here. The first one, let me grab a little demo card. So pocket here and then the pocket here as well. Okay. So let's get that off, off camera. Keep my shot pretty, right? <laughs> All right, so that gets tucked back in. All right, this page here is um, some denim. Now I did some denim or bought some denim and lace digitals, just one, one kit, just to sprinkle throughout the journal. If you know me and my projects well, you'll know that I do like to use digitals, but I don't like to have them be the bulk of my album. I like to make a true junk journal where I'm using found papers and ephemera and um, just a variety so that every page doesn't look exactly the same. So I've got these decorative papers just sort of sprinkled in. I also made a pocket from um, some Tim Holtz paper. And in that pocket, I've got a um, sewn little pocket so cute this is from one of my crafty friends as well sometimes I like to include those things that I receive in happy mail in my journals um, because if I don't they'll just sit here right and just be pretty on my shelf so what I do is I put them on my shelf which is behind me and they're pretty for a little while and then I start to include them in journals so that they can get some use and some love all right, that's first page. The second page, the back of that, um, I just printed all the digitals two-sided. Got some mulberry paper. Um, what better way to use this bright cobalt blue that is embedded in this paper? I hope my light is allowing this to be picked up nicely. Um, I rearranged my craft room and my window is now directly in front of me and there's another one that is off to the side but slightly behind me. It just, with the way the sun sits during the day, it just casts a weird light, almost like I'm in shadow all day, although the room feels bright. It's hard to describe, but I hope my colors and I, I'm gonna get my uh, <laughs> my filming situation together at some point, you guys. Bear with me. All right, and we've got, now remember this is for a swap. This um, particular young lady is also a journal maker, right? So I wanted to leave her plenty of extra space to do her own decorating and artwork in here. So there are lots of blank pages. We've got some Tim Holtz. This is just that backdrop paper. I made another pocket from the tablecloth and I added some lace trim at the top. This is more like crocheted lace and tucked in the pocket. So this is one of those up tuck pockets. I made a little notebook. It is the cutest thing ever. Look at that. All right, so it's just got some, um, it's just, I'm sorry, I'm bumping the camera. Plain paper inside that I, um, I just put a little fold here and some stitching and it's a nice little pocket notebook. Real cute, right? You know, I like to make journals within journals sometimes, especially for fellow crafters and creatives, right? All right, next page is a double stacked pocket. In the first one, we've got this um, banker's envelope that I made from Vintage Ledger. So this is absolutely authentic stuff. Take a look at that. I love the ledger. And I also have an um, Instagram post um, highlighting the handful of these that I made all at one time and they're just they're fun I mean it's it's a way to use up some of the ephemera also some of the lace trim in the second pocket I have 
another um, digital this is from a different shop I of course I'm going to put everything in my description box from where of where I you know the shops the Etsy shops that I got these digitals from I made a little envelope all right just like that I trimmed it with a little lace just something pretty look at the graphics on the gorgeous and yeah so it's just a little double stack pocket two layers very simple yet it looks like you did a whole lot right <laughs> and I just had this flap of the bankers envelope or jewelers envelope I think I said bankers earlier like a jewelers envelope here we've got some vintage ephemera and I have another pocket that I made here this is more like a policy envelope closure and that just opens up I did some really basic um, pattern paper collage here she can sit something here and close it up and I did this closure on a diagonal just thought it would be fun to not have it directly above or below or left to right or um, you know horizontal look at this paper I thought that the um, this comes from Tim Holtz as well I thought this sort of um, it looks like it's from like a tailor or a men's clothing shop and I thought with the stitching and all the details of this it goes perfectly with the denim theme so this you'll see throughout the book and as we flip so this one piece of paper I just folded right over and stitched onto the back side to make another pocket here and this little tag though it looks quite vintage because it's printed on um, coffee dyed oh lord forgive me you guys coffee dyed um, cardstock that I dyed myself and then I printed the digital right on it this looks like an original garment tag this is from Bohemian Crafting from her inst uh, her uh, Etsy shop all right some beautiful floral and lace. can't go wrong floral floral and lace right look at this lace trim I picked this up from Joanne it's not vintage obviously but it has that feel that really delicate feel that you might get from an old dress All right some more ephemera a vintage map that well, as far as the colors are concerned I thought was perfect for this book I've stuck in a couple of journaling cards this is from that um, nature book that you all know that I have I just keep pulling pages from I thought the gemstones were really really pretty for this also trying to keep within this blue and white color scheme as much as possible so, there are touches of yellow as well florals all right so this is another fun element so this is just folded and tucked right over this um, this denim page it's another little notebook you guys look and again this is just some paper writing paper but I made a booklet with sewing pattern paper um, directly out of a, a package of um, patterns vintage patterns and what I did was in my layers if you can see um, I added a piece of lace so that because the uh, sewing pattern paper is translucent right so there's multiple layers of it and then I put lace right below that top layer and I think that this effect is beautiful I got this idea from Susie at Shabby Soul she does these little um, uh, albums or journals little minis out of the sewing pattern paper and this is one of her techniques with the lace just gorgeous I am going to um, tag her below also her her channel below so you can go and take a look at what she is up to very very talented lady she is also on the design team for Tim Holtz you know I love me some Tim Holtz and all of the makers on his team so um, go and check Susie out when you have a chance here's another um, this is just more of a flap than a pocket I use some vintage um, card catalog these are um, this this weird shape is from a medical library I don't know why they're oblong like this but I do love it um, I have a piece of lace as a tab here with a little charm and I just sewed right across the tab and used a jump ring to add the charm I use 
this is a journaling card here I use the Tim Holtz um, paper and this just folds right in the paper has that same sewing theme that I'm going with so besides denim and lace I've kind of got a seamstress tailor um, theme going for this book and that's just tucked right on in and folded over some vintage um, oh the other side of that textbook paper I've got a half sheet that I've trimmed with crocheted lace and added a vintage button I received a package of gold vintage buttons um, from another crafty friend and I mean there's just a lot of variety in the buttons so I just chose this one I thought it was um, appropriate for the book some more pages we're getting to the back side of that first signature so more mulberry paper we're at the middle of the book look how gorgeous this lace pattern is on that denim <laughs> lovely kit some vintage ledger some hand dyed paper I used um, distress oxide and distress ink sprays for these so I used a tin of water like a pan that you would bake with um, added wet I'm trying to figure out my um, what I did for my technique <laughs> I wet the paper and then I sprayed the ink and then I put it in the pan just to kind of get it swirling a little bit you can use just a spray um, I use all different techniques for this batch of paper but yeah it just gave that nice little almost tie-dye feel what I had tucked over the top of this is just an envelope that I made again out of that beautiful digital look at that up close doesn't that look real like like the envelope itself has been embroidered beautiful and I just added this fringy um, lace trim that it was it's just so fun <laughs> right inside of here I just tucked in some more journaling cards okay these were part of that kit I just fussy cut them out and she can use these however she pleases and that was just folded right over the edge of the hand dyed paper uh, book page showing some constellations we've got some of that um, onion skin vintage onion skin paper this is authentic I made two more pockets this is a side tuck almost like a uh, portfolio type of tuck so it just tucks right in the side I didn't sew down the edge but it is double layered so there's a pocket here and a pocket here journaling card I just um, gave a, a blank spot here and on the back is some more of that sewing pattern paper I thought that was fun and look at this little vintage flare button again Tim Holtz he's just got things that um, just little accents and embellishments that make your projects um, just have that feel that you want for me that's usually vintage and that's why I love his line so much some more uh, vintage book page again with the sewing theme some music paper some really um, wonderfully crunchy <laughs> onion skin that I coffee dyed more blank page another pocket this is made from more Tim Holtz paper and I just added a little lace trim this is another envelope that I made from those digitals Remember those pretty uh, detailed sheets gorgeous and I just added some trim that's got some pearls to it and again it's just an envelope where she can tuck her treasures this little pocket I made from and this is uh, just some ephemera in here I made this pocket from a junk mail you know the junk mail when you get junk mail you have your return envelope inside sometimes it's post is paid sometimes it's not but they have the windows this one happened to have two windows and I just um, decorated this up and added a piece of lace on the inside and now we've got our little page pocket let's put that back in all right next page another lace 
uh, trim and fringe with one of those vintage gold buttons from my collection. The interior or um, interior, my goodness, Charnay. Ooh, the middle of the signature. <laughs> and again, with the sewing pattern theme. I love these papers. I'm kind of hoarding them. I think I have two more of these. Dressmaking. And it's funny because I'm not at all a seamstress, but I don't know. I just love the dressmaking um, themes on some of the um, crafting supplies. A little side tuck from a sheet of paper that I just sewed around the edge. You can see my stitching is never perfect, and that is exactly the way I like it. <laughs> I like my items to look handmade. Um, I use the scrap of the denim from the jeans that I, you know, constructed the book with, added some of that beautiful, um, delicate lace that I referenced earlier, some seam binding, and it is just a journaling card. On the back, what I was going for was like a faux leather, worn leather look. I don't know if I achieved that or not, but here we are. <laughs> um, and it's just, it's just some um, card stock. Turn, some more faux, um, not faux, but coffee dyed onion skin paper. Some more documenting places, blank sheets. A tuck that I made. We've got a piece of ephemera here. And this is that uh, embroidered, not embroidered, crocheted lace trim. I put right across the page. But before I did that, I added some of the um, pattern instructions from McCall's. You guys know McCall's and Simplicity. Those uh, companies that make the um, the patterns for people who actually do sew their own clothing and costumes and things. I thought that was a cute addition there. And because their colors included that blue, I thought it was cute to use that to make a little pocket or um, belly band. Some more onion skin paper the back side of that constellation paper, my hand dyed paper, the vintage ledger, and the last page is some more of that denim digital pattern. On the inside cover in the back, I used the back pocket of the pair of jeans and added a little applique. How beautiful is that applique? I'm trying to get it to sparkle a little bit. <laughs> there you go. I, I don't know if this was supposed to be bridal or what, but I just love the way it looks against like the ruggedness of the denim. And if you take this little card out, you can see I added some more applique here. It's just pretty, right? On this back page, um, the thread that I used, I tried my best to match the denim thread. And what it, it's just um, heavy duty. I think it's um, technically upholstery thread, heavy duty thread. I probably should not be using heavy duty thread with my normal sewing needle in my machine, but here we are. <laughs> and I thought that um, just the color was perfect for this page. Another journaling card that I have backed with some um, pattern paper, or not pattern paper, but paper <laughs> from a sewing pattern. And that just tucks in. This is a huge pocket, you guys. I mean, this, I believe this journaling card is four by six and there is room to spare inside this pocket. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the denim and lace album that I made um, for the swap. I hope that my swap partner enjoys this and that, um, you know, I hope she gets a kick out of it. it this is just, for me, it is sort of one of those kitschy, <laughs> um, kitschy makes that I normally wouldn't, this is just not my style, but I had a good time. Um, we're in a Facebook group together and this, that was the, uh, the assignment. The assignment was denim and lace. And they gave so much creative freedom with this little swap event. Um, so yeah, I hope she is pleased and enjoys her journal and that it arrives to her safe and sound. And yeah, so that's where we are, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am I'm, I'm back uh, on my YouTube thing and i um, hoping to bring you within the next few days um, a, my next project. I am working on one, two, three more journals at the, at the moment. And I also want to do um, some craft with me 
videos and um, what I'd like to know particularly from you guys who are subscribers is what you want to see here um, I know that you like what you see so far or else you wouldn't have subscribed but what else um, would you like for me to do to show to touch on um, any instruction any techniques for the things that I'm showing you um, just help me sort of mold my channel um, enjoy the rest of your day. It's a little chilly outside, but it is still spring, still beautiful. Um, have a good one, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.